Hey, in this video, we're gonna do a real quick run through of the new Power Queen 100 amp hour battery. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. Power Queen is kind of a rising star in the drop-in replacement lithium iron phosphate battery space. And we're gonna find out how well these things perform and whether they're a pretty good value. Let's check it out. All right, before we get into the testing, let's go ahead and jump back in time a little bit so you can see what you get in the box with this thing if you happen to order one and it shows up on your doorstep. All right, a nice product manual. This is the, uh, this is the first Power Queen product that I have seen. All right, I like the product manual. There's a lot of great information in here. There's uh, a lot of nice illustrations and things like that. So uh, plenty of... Uh, Plenty of nice references for understanding the, the charge state and uh, also the different configurations and parameters that you would want to be aware of when you are working with products like this. So excellent uh, job on the manual. And here's just a quick start operation guide. That's kind of nice. Again, very nice on the graphics. So they actually took some time. I, I really do like it when companies uh, take the time to produce quality user guides. All right, little label there. This is just a, a little baggie with the terminal studs, from what I can tell. All right, nylon strap. You can remove that, I'm sure. You gotta get it out of the way if you need to. It's got uh, little plastic stoppers in the terminals and the positive and negative sides clearly marked. And also color marked as well. So I like the fact if you happen to be colorblind or at least partially colorblind like I am, I can usually make out the difference between red and black, thankfully. Uh, but these are also marked on top positive and negative. So if you do have trouble seeing the colors around there, there's no mistaking which one's positive, which one's negative. Uh, yeah, nice battery. Now we got to run this thing through the paces, find out if it holds up to its uh, rated capacity or actually maybe exceeds it, hopefully. And because uh, that would be nice. And we'll go uh, see how it performs. So let's go ahead and do that. No, you're not seeing double, or maybe you are. Power Queen actually sent me two of these batteries uh, because I'm going to be working on a very cool DIY solar battery project that's uh, gonna be coming out in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be a fun project and uh, there'll be multiple kind of DIY how-to content videos uh, kind of stemming off of that whole project. So. Uh, stick around for that. Let's get both of these out. The fact that I have two of these gives me an opportunity to also test the consistency uh, between two of them instead of just having one as a sample. So that'll be fun too. Let's get these over in the secret lab and check out what kind of current uh, voltage state these were shipped in. Uh, and then we'll uh, go ahead and charge them up fully and we'll do a discharge test and see how all that works out. All right, so let's do a quick rundown on some of the basic specs that you should probably be aware of. First of all, obviously it's a 100 amp hour battery at 12.8 volts, can't miss that. Uh, so that makes it 1280 watt hour rated. And it does have four and a half stars on Amazon. So it's got a very high rating on Amazon, which is uh, encouraging to say the least. Um, it uses grade A prismatic cells. So top shelf cells in this thing, uh, which is kind of surprising considering the price, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. Now this thing is also rated uh, to maintain up to 80% of its original capacity uh, up through 4,000 cycles, which means this thing has at least a 10 year plus lifespan. And if you're not hitting it in full charge discharge cycles every single day, you will get way over 10 years of lifespan from this thing. So that's very good. This thing also has IP65 water resistance rating, which means that not only can you leave this out in the rain and it can take a, a rainstorm, no problem. You could actually submerge this thing up to one and a half meters in water for up to 30 minutes according to the IP65 rating definition. Not that I would recommend that you do that, but this thing is fully sealed and can handle some, some water, so no problem there. Now on the dimensions, this thing is 13 inches long and it is six and a half inches or 6.8 inches wide. It's actually a little bit less than that, but I'm rounding up. And it is uh, eight and a half inches high to the top of the uh, terminal studs. Um, it does have a five year warranty, which again is excellent especially when you consider the price, which again, I'm gonna talk about in a second. Let's talk about the actual testing. Now I did do some discharge tests on this after fully charging it up. Let's jump to some videos so we can look and see how that went. So each battery came with a spare set of terminal studs. So that's nice. I went ahead and just put these on. Let's go ahead and check the out of the box voltage here. 
straight from the uh, manufacturer. All right, got that. And we are looking at on the first one, 13.28 volts, all right, 13.3 volts. So yeah, they're not super close, but they're not super horribly far apart either. So, all right, let's go ahead and think, get these things charged up and then we can run some additional tests on them. All right, I've got a, a 20 amp charger here that is specific for lithium iron phosphate and it is a 12 volt charger, which is what these batteries are by themselves. So let's go ahead and hook up the alligator clips and then plug the charger in. Right, we will come back when these are fully charged and see what kind of voltage we've got. All right, this one just came off the charger, and so we need to let this rest for 30 minutes before we take the voltage on that one. The one on the left has been fully rested, so we'll go ahead and check that one out. All right, so now we are reading 13.7 volts. And if we take a look at the manual, you can see here that Right there, 13.5 is considered 100%. So we're a little bit over 100%. Right, since this one has actually been done for at least an hour, so we're going to go ahead and do our DC discharge test on this one. Now my tester uh, can't quite get up to 0.2C discharge rate. That would be 20 amps. I'm only able to get up to 13.5 amps because it will shut down on me if I exceed 180 watts. So. That's as much as I can pull out of it. I think that's close enough. It should give us pretty representative numbers. Let's go ahead and check the voltage on this one now that it has rested for 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put the leads on here. And we're reading 13.69 volts. So that's only one one hundredth lower than this one. Let's see what we ended up with here. 1313.75 watt hours and 104, nearly 104 and a half amp hours. And this is rated for 1280 watt hours and 100 amp hours. So, definitely excellent performance out of these very high quality grade A cells that Power Queen is using. So, interested to see how this one does. All right, so this one we're starting at 13.5 volts uh, because this one has rested quite a bit longer than this one was uh, when we started the discharge test on this one. So this one was 13.7 as I recall. So we're two tenths down and uh, we'll just see what the difference is. Go ahead and dial this up. All right, the one on the right is now done with the discharge test and we got 1279, so just about 1280 watt hours. So that's right about rated watt hours, and then 109.72, so 102 amp hours. Yeah, so just a little bit less than the one on the left, but we did let this one rest longer, and so when we started the discharge, the uh, starting voltage was just a little bit lower. So it is to be expected that this number would be slightly lower, but still, fairly consistently, both of these basically. Uh, perform at or above spec. So as you can see, both of the batteries that I tested actually met or exceeded their rating, which is outstanding. And that's kind of what you expect with grade A prismatic cells. And what you don't expect with grade A prismatic cells is that you can get a 100 amp hour battery in lithium iron phosphate chemistry for under $300. That's, that is a fantastic deal. And this, I think, really makes this thing a value leader in that lithium iron phosphate battery space. So very impressed with the not only the level of quality of the construction, but also the value price that you're able to get something like this with a five-year warranty on top of it. Now, a couple other specs we want to cover here. This does have a 100 amp BMS, which means it can output uh, 100 amps continuously 
uh, for up to a full hour. Now you can get actually up to 280 amps kind of burst amperage out of this thing for a very short period, up to about five seconds. And it does have protections for overcurrent, uh, short circuit, overcharged, over discharge, that kind of thing. The BMS will handle all that so you don't damage the battery. Now Power Queen says that you can string up to four of these in either a series or parallel configuration. And uh, if that doesn't mean anything to you, don't worry, I'm gonna do a video on that particular topic and we're gonna kind of get into the pros and cons of all that and how and what that really means for real world applications. One thing that you do wanna be aware of, and this really isn't surprising considering this battery is only $300, is that it does not have low temperature disconnect. So if you live in an environment or plan to use this in an environment where there are regular freezing temperatures that this battery might be exposed to, you're gonna to wanna to take some steps to, to mitigate that in some way. So either putting it in an insulated housing, make sure that it's not actually exposed to those freezing temps, or put it on a heating pad or something that can keep it uh, from uh, actually getting to a freezing state temperature in the core. Otherwise you risk damaging the battery if you are trying to charge it while it's below freezing at the core temperature. So just be aware of that. That is actually a pretty common situation with most of these lithium iron phosphates. There are self-heating options, but they are much more expensive. So what do you use these things for? Obviously, if you're looking at this video, you probably have some idea of that already, but these are great for DIY solar projects. These are great for drop-in replacements for camper and RV use. These make great upgrades to lead acid, especially at that, at that price of uh, $300 for a lithium iron phosphate that's got so many more cycles and a much a uh, deeper cycle range than uh, lead acid is gonna give you. It really kind of is a no brainer at this point. So I really feel like this is currently one of the best values that I have seen on Amazon uh, in this type of battery. So definitely worth a look. Power Queen does sell these batteries in different uh, voltage and capacity uh, variations. So if, you, if you're looking for something bigger or smaller, they probably got something that will work for you. So check that stuff down in the in the links below. And they are running a Halloween special. I'll, I'll put a banner up here that I snagged off their website. And uh, so it's got some extra discounts if you're if you're building a battery bank array and, and you want to take advantage of some of those Halloween discounts between now and I think the 31st. So check that out if you're interested. That's about all I got for you. Definitely a good option if you're in the market for something like this. And again, I'll put all the links down below. If you found any of this information helpful, by the way, please consider giving me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. I do hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have fun out there.